Moroccan oil texture clay does this product gives you that natural texture look or even make your hair soft and silky because it contains a lot of argan oil and more importantly does it withstand the hot and humid weather in Singapore if you want to find out more let's check it out what's up everybody welcome back to the urban oak channel if you are new this is justin and over here we talk about everything about men's grooming and lifestyle products from your hair care skincare shaving fragrances and even body grooming products everything that i share here is really based on my personal experience and i hope you could learn something new or even find the right product for yourself so today we are going to review the moroccan oil texture clay this product is actually quite a hype or quite well received in the western countries like the united states or the european countries not to mention because the use of the moroccan oil or rather more specifically argan oil that is known for its moisturizing properties that makes your hair smooth and silky so will this texturizing clay does the same thing before we dive in deeper into our review let me just share more about the brand so the moroccan oil company was founded by carmen Tao. she was inspired by one of her travel experiences where she received a moroccan oil treatment her hair used to be damaged but after this treatment it was revitalized smooth and silky this brand was probably created for the ladies to help repair their damaged hair the company has decided to expand their product lines to cater for both men and women including this texture clay this product claimed to be stronghold, matte finishing, easy to restyle, non-sticky greasy finish, able to tame spray to get so moisturized. In terms of packaging, the clay is filled up in a plexi jar which is in their signature ocean green color. It weighs around only 75 grams which is very light and definitely flight friendly this is convenient for you to bring along in your car or in your gym bag and of course during your travels on the labels you can see that there is a mention that it's suitable for all hair types it enables to build texture and it also shares some directions on how to use this product in terms of the scent this is definitely quite a notable one quite distinguished and one of its kind i would say it is more like a sweet cologne it took a bit of time for me to get used to it on the website it also mentions that the scent is spicy amber and musk with sweet florals so overall i felt that this is not my favorite but neither do i dislike it so maybe you could try it out for yourself so in terms of ingredients as usual i'll be using the skincharisma.com to check out on the ingredients this because I like to make sure that the ingredients used is suitable for my oily and sensitive scalp occasional acne breakouts and to prevent any potential harmful chemicals so from the findings here you can see that it is paraben free sulfate free silicon free however it's not alcohol free it is not European allergen free and it's not fully fungal acne safe in terms of the specific ingredients you can see that the titanium dioxide will act as a UV protector which is good and and this product also contains some ingredients that has more benefits than harm for those who have dry scalp unfortunately there's not a good news for those who have oily scalp like myself because the use of hydrogenated vegetable oil glycerol steroid that will block pores for sensitive skin there are so more beneficial ingredients than harmful ones which is quite good news for me so overall with this i would say it's not too bad but i'm interested to try it out how might it affect my oily scalp after researching on the ingredients i felt a bit uneasy a bit pessimistic because there's some use of ingredients that is not suitable for oily scalp really work for me let's check it out more so looking into the consistency upon scooping out the clay out this clay is definitely Definitely different from my experience with Hans Difficult Claymation. It is much softer, creamier to a certain extent. I would say probably the use of both bentonite clay and shea butter do really helps its texture to be soft. In terms of breaking down, spreading on my hand was like spreading butter on my hand. It was super easy and I could feel some stickiness but maybe not overly sticky, still manageable. Coming into the styling, 
I could apply and style it on my hair quite easily. I could feel there's a little grip during the styling but overall it's pretty rather smooth. As you can see that the product does really give some good texture and volume to the hair which is a pretty awesome thing. I have attempted both on dry hair and damp hair. My take is best on dry hair as it provides more volume and texture while a damp hair it probably helps to have a smoother styling experience. In terms of shine even though the product or the company claim that it's a pure matte product but personally you can see there's some shine to it but still it is a low shine product. So now it comes to my favorite part which is to test the whole. I have tested this product in a humid environment. This is my initial style which held up pretty well. You can see that it also brings some good natural texture and volume to my hair. During the 4 to 5 hours mark, a little restyling required with a comb back on my fringe. This is especially if I'm outside running errands. After 8 hours, you can see that it has lost some hole. However, I still pretty like the natural texture look with those loosened holes. So in summary for hole, if you are looking for something that is super strong hole, this product is not for you. However, if you are looking for something that is medium hole and it's easy to restyle, you like that texture, a little loose hole, this product probably is better for you. And on top of that, if you have fine hair, Definitely, I think the whole will work for you much better and so this is definitely a product that is worth for you to try. In terms of washability, I'm pretty surprised that this clay is quite easy to wash. Just one round of shampoo, it gets all the products away. I don't feel any stickiness or greasiness after the wash or during the wash. So overall, this is a very good plus point for the Moroccanoi texture clay. So what kind of hair types do I think that the Moroccanoi texture clay is suitable for? Definitely if you have fine hair, this is great for you. If you have medium hair, I think it's still worth a try like for myself. A straight wavy hair is definitely going to work well to give you that extra volume and texture. And in terms of the ingredients used, initially that I was a bit skeptical about not being suitable for oily scalp. After using it for a while, I think it's still manageable. I don't have any acne breakouts, so maybe this is still workable, but probably if you have overly oily scalp, then I think you should avoid this. For hairstyles, you might able to try out this few style with the Moroccan oil texture clay. So you can go for the classic taper, the long on top quiff, the classic side parting, or brush back with some volume on the top. So what is my final verdict for the Moroccan oil texture clay? Honestly, I think this product is quite versatile because it gives you that natural texture look that gives you the added volume. Will I use this product on a daily basis? Probably not. I will probably use once in a while. This is because I have oily scalp and I try to avoid any scenario where my acne starts to pop up again. So I think if you have fine hair, dry scalp or dry hair, this product is definitely very suitable for you because it has the moisturizing property. It is so easy to style. Or if you are looking for a medium hole, easy to restyle product, you can try the Moroccan oil texture play. This is it. <sighs> We have come to the end of our Moroccan oil texture clay review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have tried this product, do comment in the section below. Share with us what is your experience and maybe some tips and tricks on how to use this product. If you have found any aspect that you would like us to share more in our product reviews or any products that you would like us to review on, do also comment in the section below. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. If you like such videos, do subscribe and like and ring that notification bell. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.